Hello, and welcome to the Bugs in My Backyard podcast, coming from our kitchen in Kearney, Nebraska. This is Jonathan Nicola, and this is Bennett, Bennett. and uh, we are on episode six this week. Already? Yeah, already. Can you believe it? We've done six of these. Haven't we done more? No, only done six. We'll do many, many more. We're getting better. And uh, this week, um, we are going to, we do have a Pokemon of the week. No, we don't. Okay, I'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. But first, uh, I was thinking about what to do for this podcast, and I've been noticing a lot of bees in our yard. And so I want to talk about the fact that there's a lot more than just honeybees. Okay? Okay. So we all know when we think of bees, right? We think of this, right? A honeybee. And whenever people draw pictures of bees, you see bees in movies or TV shows. That's what they see, right, Bennett? Not always. Well, usually. So w- describe a honeybee. How would you describe a honeybee? Uh, it has a lots of hairs. Yeah? And, uh, what about its colors? Its colors are yellow and black, and the wings are kind of oranges, and they stick out. And what what would you how would you describe its ab? Like if someone were to draw a bee, honeybee, how what what would they do? They would color it orange and black, or yellow and black. And then. And what would they do on the abdomen? The abdomen, abdomen, they would have black stripes and yellow stripes. Right, and the abdomen is the the rear end of the bee. So that's what people think of as bees. And when you talk about bees, I think most people think that's what's out there. Bennett, do you know that honeybees are not from North America? Yeah. Where do, where do you know where they came from? Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Well, they were bought, brought over by Europeans a long time ago. So they've been here a while. But they were brought over to help pollinate flowers and fruits for farming and that kind of thing because that's what they use them for over in Europe and today people still use honeybees a lot for that in fact entire businesses will ship honeybees all around the country fertilizing different crops all over the country so honeybees serve a purpose they're not bad just because they're not from here but what people don't realize is there are way, 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 way more bees than just honeybees. In fact, we're going to talk briefly about how there's way more of all kinds of bugs, okay? And first of all, there's a word you need to know as we talk about this. Um, it's a sciencey word, and that word is species. And species are animals that can produce viable young. Okay, so I'll let, me, let me just break that down. All right, Spee, I'll leave it up there. So a species is the most basic level of life, like the human species. And a spe- basically, it's more complicated. There's a lot of nuance to it. But the basic idea is if a mommy and a daddy can make a baby that can then make a baby and then make a baby, those are species. Now, sometimes species can mix and hybridize but that's a basic rule okay so so that's a pretty specific thing all right <laughs> okay yeah so bennett how many how many different mammal species do you think there are in north america in north america is canada mexico united states mammals are like we're mammals deer are mammals dogs are mammals mice or mammals how many do you think there are different mammal species Um, just throw out a guess first thing comes to your head a thousand a thousand okay good guess the number is 457 from what my read don't look at my cheat sheet you're gonna so so that's still a lot i gotta cover it up okay (laughs) So, how many different bird species do you think there are? 300 some? 914, <sighs> according to this list. So, high 900s, or in the 900s. There are 600 plus different kinds of reptiles, 
and there are more than 300 amphibians, like frogs. Oh, that's, that's sparrow. Right. Okay, so now to insects. How many different types of insect species do you think there are in the United States or in North America? 91,000. You saw my notes. <laughs> there are, there are 91,000. So we're talking 457 different kinds of mammals. And then 91,000 insects. And, and that's... Thousand. What? And 4,000 different views. Yeah, well, you're getting ahead of us here. <laughs> but that's why we say insects are everywhere, because there's so many of them. They're all over the place. And so 80% of the world's animal species Whoa. are insects. Right. So just for <laughs> just as an example, let's show, let's show people bees that are around us right now. Okay. And the, these Whoa. are native bees, native Whoa. to North America. These have been pollinating flowers and fruit and vegetables for like hundreds a... and hundreds and hundreds of years. That's a bumblebee. What's, what's the one there? All right, we're going to keep going. So let's, tie, let's just keep going through our list uh, of insects, uh, different pictures. We'll show people. Whoa. So there's, there's a cool one. Look at, look at that one. You can kind of tell. Bee on fly. It was a, it's a bee, but its its mouth is actually holding on to the um, the 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 piece of grass, so that it it's can it's sleeping. Wait, are those two bees? Yeah, there's two. There's oh, one on top of the other. That one, the top one was a fly. Yep. Now here's another one. Look at bees aren't just you know people sweat try to. Bee. Uh yeah, I think that's a sweat bee. I had one. Already. People try to to draw bees as just yellow and black, but they're green too. They're shiny yeah. green. They can even be purple. Yeah. And let, let me show you this one. This one. Whoa. This one's yellow and black and shiny green. It's and another kind of sweat bee. And white and yeah. orange. And that, that's kind of like a smallish bee. So, wow. And that's, that's in our, that was in our yard. That's in your yard, too. Here's another cool one. It's, uh, this one is really, really long antenna. Whoa. Look at that antennae. Look at that. Whoosh. Look how long that is. It's bigger than the antennae that. are almost as long as this body. I saw that one in a sunflower in our yard. Mm -hmm. And well, then we, we have sunflowers? Or this year? Uh year? yeah, we had last year we had sunflowers. Well, and then here's that? another bumblebee. I think it's a bumblebee. But here's a cool thing. Actually that's a great picture of its tongue oh. that it uses Ew. to drink and collect nectar. It looks like a snake tongue. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, this one's a little. Looks like it has two tubes. So yeah, so that's that's pretty cool, right? Let's see. Let's let's find a few more p bee pictures that show p people how crazy and different they are. Oh, here's another thing. Here's another good one because again, everyone says they're yellow and black, right? And we showed them a green one. Whoa. Here's a red one. Here's a red and black bee. Again, that was at our house last year. So for those that live in town, that bee's all around you. You just don't realize it. And let's see. Oh, here's a cool one I saw flying in um, Washington D.C. But we have carpenter. It's a carpenter Whoa. bee. Huh. Cool, huh? So, so I could go on and on. In fact, we've seen dozens of species of bees just in our own yard. So, it's not just fancy forests and gardens and parks. They're right here, right here in Bennett's backyard, and we mm -hmm. see them every day. So, um, in bees, and not not they don't just look different. Some live together in colonies; they live together. They're called social bees. Some live by themselves. They're um, they call those um, solitary bees. Some have nests that are holes in the ground. Some have nests that are holes bored in wood. Some have nests in the grass. Um, some they do all kinds of things they're just all over the place so again i would just tell and i would just tell you go outside and look at a flower right bennett like stare at a flower for a few minutes a really good flower that's like in bloom so there's a lot of activity and try to see how many different kinds of bees you have um and then also we thought we would show you something else another thing about diversity so everyone everyone thinks bees 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 Okay, so we got those. Well, let's show people something else. Butterflies. Everyone thinks when they think of butterflies, what butterfly do you think they think of, Bennett? A monarch. Monarch, which is a beautiful butterfly. 
Well, here's three yeah. butterflies. These are fritillary butterflies. That we got these pictures thanks to a friend, uh, Neil, who had us photograph his insect collection for a for a booklet he's doing. So I'm showing some pictures. Those are three different kind of frit frit fritillaries. So again, not not monarchs. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show you another cool picture. And this one's gonna be hard to see maybe in the detail. But just look at all those different, look at all those different butterflies. And this collection that Neil has is actually from one area of Nebraska, up in northern Nebraska. Or all these, all these butterflies are present in that one area. And look, not all those butterflies are beautiful and big. Sometimes they're small and more plain looking. Sometimes they are yellow. Just a second. Sometimes they're yellow. Like that. I know what that. Uh, I know the one. Those are sulfur are... butterflies. The species I don't. I don't know all the species, and it's hard because there are. I think there's 800. How many did I see? 800 was, different. Um, no, 4,000. Oh, 4,000. There's 700 oh, plus butterflies species. Not even close. But still, that's a lot, right? There's species. many around the country, and look, not just yellow, not just orange. Not just kind of brownish color. Also Boom. blue. We got blue. There's one in there. It's a little has a little purple. greenish tint on it. Purple. Yep. Lots of different kinds. So I guess our point is it's not just honeybees. And oh, uh, and native bees. Another cool thing about native bees I should mention is they're actually better pollinators than honeybees. Did you know that? Because they got a lot of them have hair like leafcutter bees have hair all over their chest and their abdomen. And in a lot of ways, they're messier, meaning they spread the pollen a lot more easily than the um, than the honeybees do. Because the honeybees pack the pollen on, like they lick it with their saliva, and it doesn't fall off their body very much. And there's not as much on their hair because they're not quite as hairy as some of these other bees. Like these other bees, they're just throwing pollen everywhere. Ooh. Their mommies be like, "Do you clean up before you come in the house?" Because they'd be really messy. And is that good? Yeah, because. The more pollen falls off, the more likely the flowers will be pollinated. So it's good. We like messy bees. So again, don't just think it's honeybees. Don't just think it's monarchs. Go outside and really look and pay attention to some subtle differences that might tell you that it's a different type of bee in bumblebee or, or, uh, or butterfly. And I'll challenge you, go out to a flower sometime in the next couple weeks and you don't have to know what their names are. That's don't worry about that. Even sometimes scientists have a hard time telling their names um, from just looking at them. But just try to see how many different ones there are. Just do a count and and just see. And with that, we're now going to go to our um, our Pokemon of the week. We aren't. Yeah. I thought you were. I am. I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah. I thought you said we would. Well, we are. No, we are. And it's Beedrill, um, and uh, apparently Bennett and Samuel do have his Poke card, or her. It might be a she Beedrill. However, Bennett did point out to me that on the card, it describes Beedrill as a wasp, which is very confusing since it's called Beedrill, and it looks kind of like a bee, but on the Poke card, they describe it. Yeah, because it looks like a bee to me. But look at the stinger. Yeah, bees have stingers, too. No, but the, the stinger sticks out. Which I should also say, Bennett, I'm totally out of order. Native bees, almost none of them sting. Like, most of them can sting if you really, like the females, Bumble if you really bees. handle them. If you really handle them and touch them. Sweat but bees. almost none of them are aggressive, meaning they're not going to sting you. Like honeybees, if you get near their hive, any kind of bee or wasp that is it like a, lives in a hive, lives in a colony... They get very protective of their colony. So if you get close to it, they'll they'll get they could sting. But most bees not gonna bother you. Except for honeybees. Honey in fact, yeah. Isn't it funny the bee that most people think about as our bee, the mm -hmm. bee, is one of the most aggressive bees. Actually our bee is the bumblebee. What do you mean our bee? Well I mean like like our 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 most native Bee is the bumblebee. Yeah, that's a great one. And a big a big thing. Yeah, bumblebees. People are afraid of these big, big, big bees. 
They're way safer than a honeybee. Yeah, huge. I saw one outside. I think it was an inch long. Wait, so like this big? <laughs> I don't think there's any bumblebees that big. <laughs> this big. Well, anyway. So, lots of diversity. Go out and check it out. They do great things for pollinating, for our crops, for our flowers. 99% of them aren't going to bother you or sting you unless you bother it. So, they're great things. Um, hope you learned something, and we will see you next week.